Hey everyone, my name is, who cares? Um, all right, so if you haven't seen this series before, I talk about the worst cards ever made for this game called Magic the Gathering. If you've never heard of it, I have no idea why you're here, but I blame YouTube's algorithm. Apparently they think when a bunch of masochistic knobs watch a video, then hit the stupid like button and comment stupid things like this, this, and this, they should show the video to more people. Well. They shouldn't, so stupid algorithm. Anyways, this is what you came for, and I hope it disappoints you. Takeno's Cavalry is four mana for a 1-1 one, one human samurai archer with Bushido 1. You can tap it, and it deals one damage to target attacking or blocking spirit. Um, all right, sure. So let's do some math. We all love math. This is a 1-1 one, one for four, but when it blocks or becomes blocked, it becomes a 2-2 two, two for four. If you're with me so far, great. If not, repeat first grade. Now, let's say by some crazy miracle, your opponent is playing a spirit deck. This probably means one of two things. Either they're praying to the Kodama of the North Tree that their parents will rethink voting for Trump in the election, or they just found out that the entire series of Prison Break is on Netflix and their subscription just ran out, leading them to the darkest corner of tribal decks and magic. Really could only be one of those two things. Anyways, let's say one of those are true. The cavalry blocks a spirit and it becomes a 2-2. Then you can tap it to deal one more damage to that attacking spirit. This is the best case scenario for our tryhard samurai here. Now, on the pain scale, how good is that? Yeah, that's right, very good. It's not good, it's so bad. Takeno's cavalry is so bad. I actually blame Yu-Gi-Oh's terrible balancing issue on this card. That's how bad it is. It transcends games. I'm sorry, but I can't deal with a four mana one, one that only gets buffed for spirits. I can't do it. I just can't, I'm sorry. Whoever this Takeno guy is, horrible taste in human samurai archers. Just despicable. Dude wants Samurai Jack, gets this guy. Unbelievable. Moving on, moving on. Ember Shot is an instant that deals three damage to target creature, player, draw a card. Nice card, right? Looks pretty decent. Casting cost? Seven mana. Seven. Is that because it takes a ton of energy for Beer Belly over here to chuck fire? I'm sorry, but even if I'm lounging on the couch binging Battlestar Galactica while chugging root beer and regrets, I think I can afford to shoot fire for less than seven mana. Lightning Bolt is one mana. One mana. Let's use a less broken version. Searing Spear is two mana. Two. And on the ability to draw a card, seven mana. When did that happen? I know drawing a card is great and everything, but I feel like it isn't enough to warrant a 350% cost increase. Just a thought. I've avoided putting this card in one of these videos because I was sure I could find a way to make it work, but you know what? No. Fat Lightning Bolt is terrible. Always has been, always will be. God, I hate dwarves. A Cursed Centaur is one black mana for a 2-2 zombie centaur when it enters the battlefield, sacrifice a creature. I, no, just no, no, no. Can you put some flowers there or something? It's, it's really ugly. Okay, I mean, it's kind of better, but no. <laughs> All right, last card we're talking about is Ignoble Soldier. Three mana for, wait, wait don't, stop. Okay, three mana for a 3-1 human soldier. No, stop doing that. Come, come, why do you keep leaving? Okay. Whenever it becomes blocked, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt by it this turn. Oh, so you're a giant wuss. I gotta call it like I see it. It's a wuss. It's like if Courage the Cowardly Dog was actually cowardly the whole time. Ignoble Soldier is the definition of pathetic. Three mana for a three one, and when it becomes blocked, it's just like, oh, hey, huge joke. Didn't mean to attack. Ha, I'm dead now. Seriously, it has one toughness. In what world would this ever be useful ever? It dies when you look at it funny. You need Norin the Wary to at least teach it to not be stupid. What makes this worse than Norin? At least Norin knows that he's scared all the time. He doesn't try to fake it. He knows he's the biggest wuss around, but Ignoble Soldier, he talks big. He talks like he's a 3-3 with no downside. But really, when his back is up against the wall, he's a 0-1 with no spine and serious daddy issues. Cowardice is a term invented by those with no cunning. Yeah, I know, you wuss. God, terrible. Nope, no outro for you. Do the, um, the transition thing to the TCG player screen. We'll show them cards they should buy instead of this trash garbage. Just do the thing. Bye. This video is brought to you in part by TCGplayer.com. 
All these cards should make you want to quit magic. If you're still listening and haven't quit magic yet, you're crazy. But hey, we have cards you might want to get, you know, if you like playing good cards. You know what seems like a good card? Eldrazi Displacer. Seeing playing both standard and modern, it's a good card. You can get it right now on TCGplayer.com for $4 each. Yeah, seems pretty cheap considering it's played everywhere. Want another stupidly cheap card? Sure you do. Fallen Out Seer, $7. I know, that's just stupid. Go buy now.